Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It is rewards day today. Might be the last set of Summer Heat rewards. I don't know what they're going to do with Weekend League rewards after the Summer Heat promo is over. We're going to talk about that a little bit today as well as just the market movements that are going to happen today. And today's actually a day we, where we might see some possible information regarding FIFA 21. Yes, next year's game coming in October, early October. Uh, I believe there is an official trailer reveal that is right now sitting on the YouTube page uh, of EA Sports that is going to release in 14 hours from right now. Uh, there's 111 people sitting here and waiting uh, on this. But I guess on on EA Sports' uh, FIFA YouTube page, there's going to be some sort of trailer reveal tomorrow. I don't expect anything big from this, honestly. Uh, we'll just put some hype in the chat right there. And uh, yeah, I wouldn't expect anything big from this because it's usually we do not get a lot of stuff or a lot of information uh, from those revealed trailers, but we'll get a little bit. We did get some other FIFA 21 information today. We saw the three different covers for the three editions of the game this year, the Champions Edition, um, Ultimate Edition, and Standard Edition, all with Mbappe on the cover. This is the Champions Edition, and it looks by by the look of this, this is, I tweeted this out today, I said this is a very interesting cover art, right? This is very interesting and different from what they have historically done in the past. Uh, they're obviously trying to be very trendy, clean cut lines. Uh, a lot of people, these drew some flack today on Twitter from a lot of people. They said, hey, I could have had a seventh grader copy and paste Google images in here in paint and uh, in, made this as well, which there is some validity to that. It is, a very, it is very simple, but I think that's what EA was going for. This is the one that kind of confuses me the most. The Ultimate Edition, <laughs> that is such a different uh, cover than both of these other two versions. It really does not make a lot of sense, but I guess we're looking at Mbappe uh, walking through maybe a park with his phone. So that's a, a nice cover. Uh, no action shots on the Ultimate Edition, couple action shots uh, on the other covers, but we'll see. Uh, that doesn't really mean much, but hey, at least you'll know if you're buying a physical copy of the game or looking at the little square on FIFA, you might know what that is going to look like based off of that information today. So just kind of little irrelevant things related to FIFA 21. The things that we actually care about are the market. Yes, today foot champions rewards are going to be released in a few hours. And I really think you're going to start to see some stuff pick up on the market. I told you guys yesterday, I said, hey, if there's any of these TOTS cards that you want to buy, I would snag them ASAP. Uh, or if it's a, it's a, if it's an out of packs card, I would uh, snag it ASAP like this uh, same maximum, something like that. I think this guy's up a little bit. He was 430, 440 on the weekly league sell off. I think he's now like 460, 470. Um, but this Mbappe was 2.2 on the weekend. He started to climb. I really just don't know what's going to happen next week. Uh, so I think this is your last shot if you want the guaranteed time of when they are in packs and when they should be technically um, not their lowest, um, but they probably will rise a little bit higher after this. I know a lot of people have bought into them already and you're like, yo, Nate, I don't want to buy into a card that's already inflated. But I mean, if you want to use this card for the weekend league, it is July. And there, there's no even guarantee that the Summer Heat rewards will remain in uh, the Weekend League section. Like these rewards that we're getting today, I don't even know if we're guaranteed to get them for the next couple of weeks, are we? Let's check the schedule. Uh, this is not qualified, opens in one day. Details. So technically, next weekend's Weekend League still says that the Summer Heat 11 players pack and the Summer Heat special items are going to be um in rewards but again ea can change that at any time and if summer heat is over since these rewards are tied to summer heat if they change up these rewards and they make it go back to team of the weeks and that is a massive massive l but we'll probably get some more information on that tomorrow on what they're doing with rewards but again a lot of team of the seasons are probably going to get supplied today um anything and everything kenny lala again probably going to get a car that is a very popular car that a lot of people like to use in this game Probably going to get supplied today. Can you make investments on any of these team of the seasons? In my opinion, I think you can. I think if you want to make an investment for an out of packs card, uh, there are some tots that you could definitely buy. And honestly, this one right here that I'm looking at, Steve Mandata, is one that I'm slightly interested in rising out of packs because of the lack of French goalkeepers. This guy's a 93 rated tots card. Is probably going to get towards around the range of like 20... 
I would I would expect him to be maybe 29 to 30,000 coins today during weekend league rewards. I do expect he'll take a decent hit because he will get supplied. Uh, but French keepers are very, very rare in this game. So I think this card could be a decent one that rises out of packs. Uh, one other thing that you could see today, uh, all of your meta team of the season cards, right? Maybe your, your La Liga ones, your Prem ones that have strong links to very, very usable players in foot. You'll see those rise probably later into the day uh, as well. Today we had two new, we had a second summer showdown of the week. Two s summer showdowns in a one week. I really rate this from EA uh, because this is a big game coming up, Inter versus Napoli. The Alexis Sanchez striker card position change is pretty dope. That's a really good looking card. Green link to my Christian Eriksen, which is dope. Uh, and then a Jose Calajon right mid. And this is a, a point that I want to make about these new cards that came out this week. You can kind of tell, uh, this happens all the time, but a lot of people don't notice it. You can tell that EA kind of pushes you towards making a certain team, right? We just had earlier this week a Serie A SBC. Last week we had the Verdi and um, Bilotti dynamic duo. Then we had the Summer Showdown for uh, Lukaku and Danilo. Danilo. And of course, Juventus won. So we have a 95 rated Danilo right now in game. And they're giving us now a guaranteed Serie A pack. And as well, two new Serie A cards for the summer heat. They're really trying to push you towards a Serie A team right now. And this happens all the time during foot. Right now, they're pushing Serie A with the past few SBCs. Before this, they were pressing French. They were pressing Brazil a little bit with like Dava Luiz, Firmino, cards like that. Premier League, they were kind of pushing you in that sort of direction. Uh, they do this all the time. They kind of cluster cards together where they try to get you to build your team one way, maybe spend some coins and buy cards. And basically it boils down to, they want you to keep buying and selling teams all the time, because when they do that, you're probably going to be buying that team and selling that team at a lower value as they transition people throughout the game, uh, by putting in different cards and steer interest in different directions. So that's just one thing to kind of take notice of. I've been noticing it a lot during the summer heat promo, and I don't feel like it's talked about. Uh, that much. I really don't feel like it's it's talked about that much is that these guys do fluctuate uh, a decent amount. And EA wants you to bounce between teams because that means you're transitioning through cards and there's a higher opportunity for you to lose coins. So that's something to keep in mind. Now on the thumbnail for today's video, you might have clicked on it because you saw a Sissoko on the thumbnail. That was leaked yesterday as a supposed player SBC. Musa Sissoko could be coming out today. Uh, or possibly Friday, I guess. But supposedly the guys that have leaks have said the Sissoko card uh, could be coming. And that card would be nasty. Now, me as a Spurs fan, I would love that card, right? I would love if we got this SBC today. I really would because it would go straight into my team. I would definitely use him. This guy was really good for me in the 100 games that I played for him. He was a cracked out card. Um, but a lot of people are also going to complain because that'll be like, what, our third French midfielder from the Prem, right? We have had, we've had Andambale, Pogba, and Sissoko now, if he does come out. So a lot of people are, you know, not happy with the lack of originality and lack of uh, diversification of foot cards, I guess. But you also have some people that complain when we get cards like Verdi and Callejon, or even they're probably complaining with Alexis Sanchez and, um, well, Callejon and Verdi and Bilotti and Alexis Sanchez. People complain with these cards because it's not meta enough or it's not Brazil. It doesn't fit in their team, right? So you're going to have people that are complaining at all times. You know what? Play by your rules. If you want a Serie A team, if you're into the Serie A, get these guys. If you love French, if you love the Premier League, if it fits your team better and you like Spurs or, you know, uh, the France national team, then do a Sissoko, do a Pogba. You know what? Like play foot by your rules. Don't let somebody else's opinion, right? Whether it's basic, based on how meta a card feels in a game or um, what team they root for. Don't let that cloud your opinion, right? Form your own opinions. Do research on this game, especially when it comes to trading too. I talk about that a lot, right? Preparation and research and knowing your stuff is what I base everything off of in, in this YouTube channel. And that's what I try to teach you guys is to do the research, learn it yourself uh, so that you can you know, use that knowledge going forward on this game and make even better decisions and have better conversations with people uh, and you know, analyze what's going on. It's all about just being informed. That can help you out so much in FIFA and in life. All right, I'll hop off my horse. But uh, again, team of the season today at rewards, probably going to take a dip in price. And then I do think they will rebound. If there's a big time content at 6 p.m. UK, you might see them drop back down a little bit. 
Um, but today is also going to be the last day that these TOTS cards are in packs. So you might see um, a EA Sports, not an EA Sports, but an extra emphasis on people uh, doing SBCs like the upgrade SBCs or the any TOTS repeatable SBC or the prime icon because a lot of crafting might be done today because a lot of those cards are expiring and going away today. Last thing uh, uh, in terms of what happened yesterday, we had a team of the week that was not announced by EA Sports and I now understand why they didn't announce it. This is a terrible team of the week, but they really didn't have a lot of cards to choose from. Harry Kane did get a 94 rated card um, as an inform and Isco. Harry Kane and Isco are the two main names. Quagli Arella in this team of the week as well. Um, Chiesa, Rice, and Martinez, I guess uh, a couple of Premier League items and some hype. Not hype, but a uh, a usable... Hey, we got a right mid from the Serie A in a team of the week, finally. Not that it's a very usable card at this stage of the game. Uh, but, you know, it takes him all the way till the end of the game to give us some of these promo cards that fit positions that we've needed so, so, so much. So, yes, Kaya Hone's always had, like, what, a two or three star weak foot? I think it's been three star. He did get the boost today to the four star. Uh, and these could both get upgraded to 95 rated. So, that's pretty dope. Pulisic. Five days remaining. We go through here every day and check and see which is going to be expiring. A new marquee matchups will come out today, so that might cause some tradable uh, pack supply on the market. Uh, SBC fodder. I do want to mention that because I usually end up talking about that every week at rewards time. SBC fodder is probably going uh, to go down today with all the pack supply that comes out. It happens almost every single week. Thursday and into Friday is the lowest day for fodder because people are... Um, you know, packing all these cards from rewards. You could see a spike on fodder if Sissoko does come out uh, today. And, you know, let's talk about Sissoko for a little bit. What would he be valued at if they put out a Sissoko SBC? Now, I feel like if they put out Sissoko, a lot of people are going to look at Pogba and say, okay, if Sissoko is going to come out, then it probably shouldn't be any much more expensive than Pogba, right? Pogba is 250,000 coins. Sissoko shouldn't be that much more anyway, right? Well, I feel like Sissoko could definitely be anywhere in the range of 200k to 500,000 coins and might not be as cheap as Pogba. We joke often a lot in this channel that there's like two different SBC guys. The uh, more high-priced SBC guy that hates us as the community, I guess you could say, uh, might give us the Sissoko SBC. Just an example, that guy would have been the same guy that gave us Usman Dembele, David Luiz, and even Langley because these guys were a bit expensive. Uh, but the cheap SBC guy, he definitely gave us uh, Pugba, and he definitely gave us um, Ndombele and Perisic. You know, there's kind of been like two standards during the Summer Heat promo. Really cheap SBCs and a little bit more expensive ones. So all that to say, I do think Fodder will probably drop today. So if you have 81s, 82s, and 83s especially, I would cash out on those because those are going to get hit hard hardest, of course, through the repeat or through the amount of packs that are going to be opened today on this game of FIFA. So it's honestly quite an interesting day on foot, right? It's, I mean, it's just a rewards day. We're possibly expecting a Sissoko SBC uh, and you're going to see, hopefully, EA come out with somewhat a somewhat usable amount of information on FIFA 20. Now, I want to take, or FIFA 21, I want to take a quick look back through some of these team of the seasons uh, and maybe mention some cards that you might be able to snag um, maybe today at rewards is a possible investment because I know a lot of you guys still might want to make coins or even if you want to buy a team, a lot of these cards are going to be very, very low. I do like Mandanda. I like Lala, even though we have Danilo out right now, French links reign supreme. I feel like this guy will rise a lot out of packs. Awar, I'm a fan of, um, from this, maybe even Di Maria. I'm slightly a fan of Renato Sanchez. Uh, most of the stuff, again, I would just probably say is the best bet is a team buy. But other than that, if you do want to sink some coins into some other cards uh, just to buy them out of packs, they, they could rise a little bit. Alfonso Davies might not be a bad one. Um, uh, some of these other, these Bundesliga cards and all the Tots cards for that matter, they're just going to get rare. If this is really the end of foot, these cards are going to start getting rare. De Young, even though we have the Vidal SBC, that is going away. I do like De Young's card as a possible investment. Ramos is probably going to go up. Varane's probably going to go up. Griezmann, Benzema, Carvel Hall. Uh, Ter Stegen is somebody who I would definitely look into as one of the most overpowered and now very linkable because of Langley players in this game. Uh, Jamie Vardy will probably go up. Um, who else? Mares, possibly. Salah, possibly. Um, anybody else from the Prem? Richarlison is just a very rare card. I don't mind him. 
Robertson, I'm a little unsure of because of the Masuaku car that could be out. Wabasaka, I'm a fan of that one because of the links that he continually gets to, like Daniel James. Uh, you, This might be a card that you see rebound today because of the Daniel James objective that a lot of people now have. He's up. Actually, he's not up really in the past week. He's been around 150,000 coins. It says he's 141 right now, but that was probably an undercut. So those might be an example of some cards that you could look into today, as well as some of the cheapest players by rating. Uh, like some of the cheapest 90, 91, 92 rated cards. If we were to get a prime icon moments, a prime icon moments, repeatable SBC, it might be a decent shout to club stock. Some of these really high rated tots cards. Uh, Julian Brandt is one of the cheapest 90 rated cards in the game right now at 28,000 coins. Uh, this might just be one that you buy today during the rewards time frame as people pack him like this. First owner, tradable, stack one in the club. And then in two weeks, uh, he might even rise up anyway just because he starts getting rare. And if we have more SBCs that are repeatable that come out, uh, he could be going up even further as well. And for that matter, I don't think I would even buy that card. I would go ahead and stock a Max Cruz. Because right now, according to Footbin, Max Cruz is not actually this cheap. But 92 rated cards are 34k. Ginter is 30... Excuse me? So 92 rated cards are basically the same price as as uh, 90s? That makes about zero sense to me. Uh, Ginter is 35k according to uh, this right here. Uh, but yeah, just watch some of the SBC fodder today. It's going to get hit at rewards. And it's going to go out of packs in the next uh, about daytime. So... I might snag a few of those, chuck them in the club if you're still wanting to make some coins right now in this game. So this is a big day for me as well. We have 45 packs stacked up right here right now. And it looks like I still have uh, possibly an untradeable Tiago Silva, which I packed. I'm waiting to put him into an SBC to craft. So I'm going to be opening a lot of the 81 pluses, a lot of the guaranteed tots, just full sending, right? Full sending the end of this year and trying to uh, pack some a 99 rated tots card. My chase for a 99 rated tots card has not been fulfilled yet. I have not packed De Bruyne, Messi, Ronaldo, um, Lewandowski. Did I, did I miss any other 99s? I feel like I might have. Anyways, I'm trying to pack a 99 rated team in the season card. Van Dyke is, is 99 rated as well. I'm really, really, really trying to pack one of those. So that is why I'm still grinding the menus right now. Tomorrow's video will again look at the possibilities for what could be happening on Friday. If we have any hints from EA Sports, any leaks or anything like that, we'll definitely be sure to cover them then. Uh, stay tuned to the Twitter channel uh, down below in the description as well. Check out the Twitch live stream where we'll be opening all of these packs later today. So if you guys enjoyed this video, smash the thumbs up on it, comment down below if you have any questions, and subscribe to the channel if you are new. It's just another Thursday of summer heat as we're winding down. Buy your players if you want to use them, all right? Have fun, as much fun as you possibly can in this game at this time. All right, boys, it's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.